Hello and welcome back to Broadside Gaming with me Zerg and today we are taking another look at the Zealot and we have a support build for you today. So this is going to be a slightly updated version from the last one as the patch has changed a few things and we shall go over them. So the weapon setup, pretty standard for what I've been running recently. We're using the Eviscerator with Shred and Rampage. And we're going to be using flak armored enemies and critical hit chance. You can change flak to maniac, but I tend to use flak because most stuff in the game is flak armored. And we're going to be using the quick draw stub revolver for sniping those maniacs generally. Anyway, so you can take it off of the eviscerator for the crit. So as I said, on the revolver, we have the 25% damage to maniacs and preferably you'd want uh, flak armor as your secondary as you can see on mine it's locked to specialist just that's just how it rolled and for blessings we're going for surgical and hand cannon for those crits and the increased rending as you uh, may not have been read up on rending is basically um one percent of rending is basically one percent damage now is the new calculation for it there is a very very long and arduous calculation for working it out but it basically works out to one percent rending is one percent damage so you know it's all good and as for the curios we're still running the wound toughness and toughness but you can drop a wound if you want for max health with the same perks on i find these are generally the ones i prefer to run with you could change out the resistance for ability cooldown I'm probably going to change those over at some point anyway. To be basically max health, max toughness and ability cooldown duration. But these are working and I've been running your missions forever with these so they work. Heroes tend to be very player dependent. Which is why I've never sort of done a video saying this is the meta for curios. So, you know, use what you have, it will generally work. All right, let's have a look at the talents. So, as we're using the Eviscerator, we're still going very heavily into crit. So we're going to come down here on the right side with Backstabber, Scourge, Toughness Boost, and Enduring Faith. And then down the middle to buff the pistol. Anointed in Blood, Purge the Unclean for increased damage against Infested and Unyielding. This will go towards both our ranged and melee weapon. And then restoring faith. And we're going to be picking up the immolation grenade. Then heading over here to the left, grabbing Duelist for 50% weak spot and critical hit damage on successful dodge for 3 seconds. Until death, Holy Revenant, and Benediction. And then coming over to the middle, grabbing Cur the Chorus of Spiritual Fortitude, Banishing Light, and Ecclesiarchal's Call. Ecclesiarchal's Call, even. And then we're grabbing the toughness here, Faith Frenzy for the attack speed, and then we're going to come down here on the left side again for Punishment, Invocation of Death, Blazing Piety for more crit, Fury Rising, and Righteous Warrior. So this is going to boost our crit about as much as we can. The only thing we're losing really is the speed from Fury of the Faithful or Inexorable Judgment. But this is a support carry build, really. Your job is kill as much as you can and keep your team alive. And you'll be doing that with Chorus of the Faithful. So when there are big packs coming, you can see a Mauler pack or a Crusher pack. Drop a grenade and stun lock everything you can into it. Every time you do this, you'll be pulsing out toughness regen and toughness to your group, and also 15% damage increase on everything it touches. And when you're not doing that, you'll be sniping any specials you can with the pistol, and running interference with the eviscerator. Quite a fun build to run with. You can really help out a lower geared team, or if it's a pug, you can 
generally carry them quite well with this. You just have to be warned that you don't have as much movement speed as some of the other builds I've been posting recently. You do have a lot of stopping power, especially with the revolver and the eviscerator. The only thing that's really going to give you any trouble are crushes. But if there's a crusher pack and you know you can't deal with it, press F and let your team deal with it. You're staggering, you're stunning, you're giving back toughness, and you're giving them 15% increased damage on them. Hopefully the veterans in your group will have already laced them all up with crack grenades anyway. But other than that, nothing else is really going to give you too much trouble. I mean, even a crusher, if you really have to, you can shoot in the neck. But don't forget, your special ability does also work quite well against them. You'll be getting 20% increased damage from behind. But if you have to, just keep laying into them. But I would highly suggest letting your team deal with them. There you go. Lovely support build for you. Only real problems are going to be crushers. Other than that, you can carry and push for this build really well. So, I hope you folks enjoy it. And if you do, please like, subscribe, hit that little bell for notifications. It really does help us out. And uh, until the next one, take it easy, and I shall see you later.